Hey everybody, so today is the big day. And if you've read the title, you already know that I'm proposing to my girlfriend of three years. Yeah, it's about time, right? Yeah, me too. well, I'm excited. I am more than ready. And more, most of all, I'm nervous. You probably can tell. But, um, so yeah, she has just left to go get her nails and toes done which was very difficult for me to get her out this morning because some of you may or may not know we just started working not too long ago full-time jobs and today is the day that she's supposed to relax and do nothing all day but today is the day that I'm proposing so I needed her to get out so I finally finally got her out of the house and now she's gone with a friend to get her toes and nails done and now it is my turn to do my part and get everything ready for her scavenger hunt that she's going to do today. And yeah, so after she gets her toes and nails done, I'm going to uh, send her on a scavenger hunt. And at the end of the scavenger hunt is where I'll be, and that's where I'll be proposing to her. And so yeah, I'm about to go drop off the last little bit of clues and then go pick up the ring. I'll see you guys on the journey. I'm actually proposing to her today. Oh, that is yeah. so sweet. And Congratulations. So, uh, and so she's going to come here. Okay. And I want you guys to give that to her. Give this to her? Yep. Janera? Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. I'll be here all day. So. Okay. Well, that's Are you serious right now? Can you just read it, please? Hey, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed your relaxation. It's time to go on a little journey. Sending you on an adventure. Around you better Savannah. not cry. <laughs> I'm trying not to. You better Look not. Look at my hair. Oh, my God. Girl, read the card. I want to see how well <laughs> you know, as all games have rules. This one does, too. Oh, oh. It's nothing crazy. Rule number one, no cheating. You can't call me. <laughs> <laughs> If you need one, roll two, log your adventure. I want to see how well you do. Roll three, have fun, be safe on the roads, and do this expeditiously. All right. I mean, good luck. I love you. Aw, so sweetie. When we first met, we became the best of friends. Here our love begins. And the chocolate goes all around the world. Aw. It's a unit, huh? Hey guys, I had to rush this up, but we got this. Oh. Go to the time frame. <laughs> Clue number two. Go ahead and scream it.
Uh, yeah, I definitely want to thank you all for coming. Uh, this means a lot to me. Definitely means a lot to me. You all know how our relationship is, how close we are, how much stuff that we do together. And this is another big thing that we want to make memorable in our lives. And we definitely appreciate all of y'all for coming individually. We thank y'all, all of you. And so this is my second mom. <laughs> Some of y'all know as Miss Professor Torres. Well, I'm so excited, I'm so proud of you, and we just want to take the opportunity because it seems like Janira's family is over here and we're over there. So since we're becoming one big happy family, if we can, we don't want to just go one by one, but we want to literally get up and make sure that we have touched and introduced ourselves to everybody in here. So we and we want to just anything that you know, how you met Leonard or Janira or both of them, and then any well wishes that you have. So whoever wants to start, you can go ahead. And start. Oh, so we're talking. Can I go first? Yes. 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 Okay. My name is Barbara Hawes. I am Brian's mother, Lettuce's grandmother. The way I met him is when they brought him to visit. <laughs> and then they left him. That's it. <laughs> That's my first grandchild. Aww. 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 Oh, you and Janelle, I wish y'all the best because I know it's going to work. Because I asked you a long time ago, what's your intentions? That's it. Should we wait? Just follow through, baby. Okay. I am Janelle's mother. Um, the first time I met, I think I was on your way to a deployment. Um, at, at one of the hotels, uh, I think it's the yeah. first time I met you guys. Yeah. yeah, and um, I've always been impressed. I've been happy and I'm thankful, Aww. joyous for you to join our family. Wow. I go. Okay. Yeah. That's it, Doc. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you me? Go ahead, Larry. Okay, so my name is Larry Lysop Murray Jr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I met Larry um, coming to the church. You know, Larry, you grew up in the church with me, um, coming up playing the drums, and you know, me and Larry, you know, as soon as he started coming to the church, you know, we we kicked it off then, and you know, since then, Larry's always been a good friend to me. You know, he's always been there. Anytime I hit him up, you know, saying he's always there, and it's just so good to see him. You know, we all progress. We all we all growing up. So. Seeing him make this big step, I already made this big step, you know, proposing. So I can imagine what he's feeling right now because, you know, I know this is like very, you know, when you get, when you um like like you said, he woke up at three o'clock this morning. Like me, I woke up at around the same time. So you know, you just a whole bunch of emotions going through. You you know, you might make, make this big step in your life, and I'm proud of you, man. You know, um, I just want to wish you, you know, best, you know, the best success with your relationship, and um, I really, I really want to, want to see you do well, and you know, y'all going to be married for you know. 35, 40, 50, 60, forever. You know, so I'm just proud of you, man. Just keep up the good work. You know, keep striving in life, man. I see I see your success, man. Love you, man. I know we don't talk every day, but just love you, man. I know you're always here. So that's all I got to say. Lights out. out. How y'all doing? I met Leonard about, what, two years ago? Yeah. And shut the cheek. Yeah. Check the cheek. Guys, I told him Janeiro was a lot to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, man. <laughs> That's what's up. In my past life, when she was three years old, wow. and I watched her grow, and it was such a blessing when I met him that our kids, they already knew each other. Janeiro was about four when she was born as my oldest daughter. And they've been like this ever since. I love her. She was so smart. And this one right here, this her younger sister, she reminds me so much of Janeiro. Leonard and Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Now her birthday, it was yeah. for her birthday. And he came in and he was so respectful. And I told Janeiro, I was like, you know, and I was like, he's always like, I like him. You know, I mean, he's respectful. But I'm glad that you all coming together and we welcome you to the family. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Leonard is my brother. Um, I met him 10 years ago when I first came to the church. And um, ever since, you know, we linked up, literally, he's always had my back. 
He's always supported me. He's always encouraged me. And he's really exemplified what the true brother is. And um, what I love most about Leonard was I'm so proud of you, um, with is that you have always been a person of good integrity. You know, and then that's kind of hard to keep these days. But somehow, because of course you had good training, you know, you've always done that. And so I just want to tell you, continue to do that, man. I'm so proud of you for making a wonderful decision. And just, you know, treat it right, do it right, and y'all be all good. to change, cause love, so many people use your name in vain. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I you meant, like, Are you going to read it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank y'all. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Are you going to read it? We've made so many memories here, and I can't wait to make some more. I'm more than ready to see what future has in store. We love to come downtown by River Street, come to the place where my parents last took us to eat. Where's that? I don't know. <laughs> come on, one more. I'm Shawnee. Are you hunting? No matter. I don't know when I met them. I was in the military. I'm not sure what y'all see. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, yes. <laughs> Me and Milton, um, him and I were in the same AIT class, like in 2013. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we met way back when we were in the And then um, I met Janera sometime in 366, you know, it's the military. Yeah. Um, that's my girl. These are my battles. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so, 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 so happy. Like, when he called me, I was screaming. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing this? Yes, yes, I'm going to be there. Um, I love you guys so, 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 so good much. Um, I wish you nothing but love and prosperity, you guys' marriage and your relationship, you know, moving on forward. And I just wish that, you know, today is just a great day. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Janera and Leonard at the same time. Um, I met them at the unit 366. Uh, Janera kind of forced me to be her friend. Erica said she's crying, I guess like crazy. So um, she is going to be very emotional. So she knows. Mm -hmm. She's kind of over here, but she's definitely emotional. Yeah, it's, it's about to happen. She was crying then. So. <laughs> she didn't expect some people to be here, but, but y'all, she expects to be here. Y'all, she does not expect to be here. So when she sees y'all, <laughs> She's yeah, definitely gonna lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Even oh, more? Sorry. Even more. Okay, go ahead. Are you, no, no. Are you? Uh, I pretty much watched their relationship grow from friends to Not what they are now. Right. Yeah, to <laughs> <not friends>. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yes, they both know that um, I love y'all both very much. You know I'm crazy about Janeiro, yeah. so you know <laughs> that's that's we gotta understand. That. But I really do wish y'all the best, and um, I'm gonna try not to cry. But I'm, I'm happy this is happening. I always knew y'all was gonna get married eventually, just from watching our relationship. It was pretty much the most beautiful relationship you could ever see. Just if you knew everything that you know they've been through individually and together, and just to watch them go from just brokenness into just being together and just seeing how beautiful that is it, it really does touch my heart and i really am happy for y'all and i'm there for both y'all but you know i'm there for more <laughs> 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 you're not trying to pick sides <laughs> <laughs> just in case you cut up right i'm shakaya <laughs> um, i'm shakaya i'm tania sana sana janira i love her so much when I met you, Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. I remember. Well, they do, but I remember. Um, she crazy, and you know that already. And I wish you the best. Jamira, please, do not drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy for y'all. Um, I don't know. I don't remember when I met you, to be honest. 
But every time that I've seen you, it's always been good energy and good vibes. And you guys are always happy. We're always laughing together. And it's just an overall good environment. So I'm happy. I'm excited. You're my brother-in-law now. <laughs> Tiny baby at the time. Not too tiny, but he was a baby. He was a tiny baby. Okay. So then we got, we, we came stateside and we went to Antioch and we ran into the Feltons again. And now he had a, a brother. Yeah, yeah, brother. And then all I can remember is both of them running around, dad telling them to sit down. Um, that was Stephanie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was more so. Leonard was always good. Yeah, Leonard, Leonard, Leonard was always a yeah, chill one. Leonard, but all I remember about Leonard, 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 Leonard the most is that <laughs> Leonard has always been respectful. He's always been into sports. Whatever it was, he was in it. I remember uh, his dad taking him every sport event that I can remember. And uh, I remember the times that we went to support um, his games and watch him. Uh, but one thing I would say about um, Leonard is that he's a true, true man of God, number one. He's a true gentleman, and he's very respectful. And uh, I wish you and, and, and Janera the very best. Um, you know, I'm reminded that, you know, the way I, I just go by your parents, how your parents raised you and, and how uh, they, they their relationship. So when you raise a child the way they should go, they will not depart. So I know that your your marriage is already set in the right direction and it shall be successful. So I, I wish you the best. God bless. Hey, y'all. Hey, Leonard. I can't believe this day has come. It, actually, before I got here, I was thinking about you and like how I, I'm proud of you and um, how I've seen you grow and evolve as a young man. But I will say this. We have... 30 years this year of being together. But if it was not for the grace of God, the grace and the mercy of God, that, that's what you have to rely on. That's what you have to fall back on because I think Larry said it every, or somebody said it, because you don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, somebody said it. It is not, you know, every day is not going to be sunshine. But even in the rain, if you keep God first, he'll sustain your relationship no matter what. So if I had any advice, which I do, keep your marriage under the blood. Pray together in the morning. Pray together when you go to bed. Uh, stay respectful. If you love her, this is the truth. I told my husband this. Because he loves me, I live in a one-bedroom shotgun house. And Leonard, you know where I live. I give it all up because of the way he loves and respects me. So if you love and respect her, it's nothing you won't do that she won't do for you. So just love her, honor her the way that God does, and she will do you, and y'all be inseparable for the rest of your life. I love you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Janera, he's my son that makes you my daughter that makes you have to listen to everything that I say. <laughs> love you. <laughs> my name is Thor. I have known Janera, wow, I guess since she was like six or seven, maybe eight years old, something like that. Uh, Actually, when I met Janera, she was in trouble. Uh oh, uh oh, And she was crying. Uh, I met Leonard while they were out on deployment uh, on FaceTime. They were just friends at the time. <laughs> friends, um, but they have grown individually as a couple. I mean, just recently I was telling them they were at the house and I was telling them how they are really just two peas in the pod because they make the corniest jokes. 
And they both laugh at it like they are just hilarious, you know? And you're standing, you'd be like, what are they laughing at? But they they know. Yeah. Exactly. Which is really key. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I have I have said privately that these two belong together. So I wish y'all the very best. Uh, 150, 200 years of love and happiness, yeah. and and just continue to date each other. Yeah. Always date each other. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, met Linda when I was like three or four um, at Antioch. <coughs> And I met Janira in 2012, I think, with Chantel and Khadija. And I really love y'all together. So, yeah. And I watch our YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I go through my girlfriend, Erica. Um, Erica is with Janira now. Oh, okay. God. Right, then. From the time I met them, I just admired their relationship. They always been like this. And, you know, you see him, you gonna see her. And if you don't, you gonna hit her on the phone or hit her. On the phone. <laughs> so, and we went on a camping trip um, last year, and them being with us, it was just a blessing. Just spending time with them, and just a couple trip and black love, seeing that flourish with young individuals like us. So I just wish you wish you the best, and I admire everything that you have going on. Um, hello, Leonard, uh, Janera. Love you guys so much. Um, we met Leonard some 26, <laughs> seven years ago. Okay. Uh, <laughs> September 12th. We were surprised. 1992. <laughs> and it was about 7 11 p.m. when he came in. We saw him. Yeah. 7 11. 7 11. You know, they had a store named after him. Uh, so we met him. You know, he's been a blessing in our life ever since. You know, we just watched him grow up and mature and. You know, seeing him go through some things and 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 just blossom as a man, which has really blessed me because it's every dad's desire with a son to see their sons grow up and mature and be all that they can be. I don't care if you're a janitor, I don't care if you're a millionaire at, at, at Park Plaza, you know. But being the man that you are has really just blessed my heart, and it's and it's made me very proud of who you are. And uh, you know, I told you. You know, like the old saying, why buy the milk if you get the cow for free? So treat her right. Some of y'all will get that when you grow up. <laughs> treat her right. And if you're going to be with her, be with her. So I thank God that you listened. I thank God that you took heed to our, our, our teachings and that you're going to love her for the rest of your life. Amen. And that's every woman's dream is to have a, a man love them. Yes, sir. Uh, so, so love her like, like never before. Every day you wake up, you get a new chance to love her all over again. So, so we're just we're just proud of you, and uh, I don't want to go any further. Um, you gonna cry? <laughs> feel a little congestion in my chest. Yeah. Your eyeballs are sweating. My eyeballs are starting to sweat. So I'm, I'm gonna cut it off right about here. Yeah. So Lynn and Janera, I love them both. Um, Janera, I love you. I don't have a daughter, so you are going to uh, be my daughter. And I absolutely love you. From the very first time I met you, I told Leonard that I liked you. And you know it, because I told you I liked you for my son. So it was no secret that I liked you. And now, you know, I have grown to love you. And I can't wait to, you know, officially welcome you to the family. You're already a part of our family. And um, I just love uh, just Leonard and how he treats you. He see how his dad treats me. And we pray Leonard will continue to treat you the same way for years and years to come. I love how you push my son yeah. to greatness. Yeah. I love how you motivate my son how you bring so much good out of him. Yeah. So I really do appreciate that about you. You really are, you know, somebody strong, a strong woman. And any great man has a strong woman beside him. And that is who you are to my son. And I love you for that. Yeah, I love you for that.
I'll leave this one open. What I do? I know that if you guys love each other as strongly as you do, 
and as consistently as you do, then there'll be nothing wrong. So I'm just happy for you guys. Uh, I get a sister, <laughs> so that's that's gonna be fun. Uh, so thank you. I love you guys. Love you. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Question number two: Who's more likely to make the bedroom for their personal laundry basket? Who will want kids first? Who will want kids first? Who will want kids first?
first to lose their keys. Who's the most likely to cry at a movie? Me. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. 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 Dream.